just cowers all the time, bless her. And it would just be nice to have a bit more affection with her. She's incredibly nervous. I see a dog back there. Yeah, she's hiding behind me. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Yes. Oh. Oh, bless her. <laughs> oh, I see a lot of lip licking too. Yeah. All right, I don't really need to ask you what the problem is because I can see it right now. <laughs> um, but tell me about Nelly. OK, Nelly, um, so Nelly's a rescue dog. We've had her for about two and a half years, and when she was found in the, in the mountains... In the mountains? Like, in Cyprus. In sorry. Cyprus, OK. Yeah, she was very parched, flea-ridden, tick-ridden, and both her back legs were broken, so... they but what? Both her, both back, her back legs, legs were, were broken, broken. Mm -hmm. yeah. I know. OK. She always skulks, you know, as if she's pleased to see me, but she's expecting me to do something to her. And I've never, ever, ever laid a finger on her, never. Her nose is what kind of rules her. So she, when she gets a scent, she's completely cut off from everything else that's going on. And I think that's possibly because of her breed, maybe. They think pointer. I see a bit of beagle in her. Do, yes, mm. hound, yes. Yeah, hound, definitely. Yes, they do, mm -hmm. yes. There's a hound snore there. Is that really mm -hmm. what it is? Wow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, it absolutely is. <laughs> I got your number, Nelly. <laughs> <laughs> As Nelly is a rescue dog, her heritage is unknown. But it's likely she has scent hound in her blood. Scent hounds, which include the beagle, the dachshund and the bloodhound, all have long floppy ears, which actually help funnel the scent towards their nose. And they're also irresistible. How many choices have you made today? Loads. How many choices has Nelly made today? Possibly one to ask to go out. First thing. She still had to ask to go She had out. to ask, yeah, she did. We obviously have that freedom to make choices our dogs don't. Mm -hmm. And that's why we're now going to go on a dog-led walk. Oh, wow. This is basically allowing the dog to put their nose down, track and go where they want. Right. It's so empowering oh. for dogs, especially anxious dogs right. like her. Victoria shows them how it's done. I'm going to keep the lead as loose as possible. It is my job to keep up with her. She's smelling things. She's like, oh, I, got, I can go wherever I want. <laughs> this is amazing. This is just empowering her. It's making her feel more confident. Yes. Well, her she, tail's up. I know, that tail. It's so wonderful to see that tail up. <laughs> she looks like she's in doggy heaven. She's doing what a hound needs to do. <laughs> <laughs> that incredible nose. Yes. You normally find that when dogs are on a scent, they actually weave like that. Yes. Because they catch the scent from side to side. Ah, is that what it is? Yeah, until they hone in on the target scent. Good girl, Nelly. All right, it's your turn. Happy dog. Yeah, keep it up a little bit so that it doesn't get in between her legs. Just be aware of where that lead is. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, love it. Seeing her happy is just what I want. It's all I want for her. Thanks for watching. If you love It's Me or the Dog and want more dog training tips and tricks, visit my official site, Positively.com. And if you're interested in learning more about becoming a dog trainer, check out the Victoria Stillwell Academy. Links to both sites are in the description. I'll see you online.